pretty strong first five minutes for Nico Montano, who entered the fight as the plus 170 underdog. Nice, let's fight. Yeah, Nico's the underdog, but she's been dominated. She dominated the first round. As the minus 200 favorite, second round underway. Yeah, let's see what adjustments Payne is going to make in this round. Obviously, spending nearly a full round underneath wasn't the plan. She's going to have to mix things up here. Try and use the strikes. Set up some takedowns of her own. Thought about the right hand there. A little more than 18 months off for Nico Montano, who was last in action December 1st, 2017, when she captured the inaugural UFC Women's Flyweight title. Going five full rounds with Roxanne Modafferi. We mentioned the layoff for Juliana Pena. For more than two and a half years, January of 2017, it was a main event against Valentina Shevchenko. And to put that in perspective, just one month after Uriah Faber took his extended break. Pena went in with a clinch. Go to work. Montano must be so physically strong because Pena in her own right is a very strong grappler. But when they clinched, Montano just turned her straight away and pushed her up against the fence. More than four minutes of control time just in the first round. Wrapped up by Nico Montano, who once again is in dominant position here. This is really similar to the first round. A few strikes were thrown, they clinch up against the fence. The Montano is going to drop down, try and grab the legs, either a single or a double. Try and get the hands joined together around the butt or the body lock. There you go, there you go, yeah. Textbook stuff. I don't know why. That, I mean, that was a beautiful takedown. I wish more people would do it like that. She looks really, really strong. And of course, technique is good as well. Strength is all well and good if you haven't got technique. Tonight, Montagna is showing a lot of both. But listen, we're only in the second round, and there's no quit to Juliana Pena. She's had some tremendous wins in her own career as well. So, this fight is far from over. Well, Pena's got a bruise on her left cheek, just under her eye. Nico Montano right back to work, and now Pena trying to mount some offense. Yeah, she tried to get the same takedown she went for in the first round, then thought, no, I'm just going to snap your head down. She's got hold of the head, sprawls down, tries to pull her opponent down, and then from there, oh, now trying to Uh oh, Nico's in trouble here. She can get out of it, though, she's strong. Yeah, there's no submission, but she's got top position at the very least. She's got to be careful here, though, because the one wrong move, and Montano could end up on top. One of the biggest moments so far in the fight for Pena as we take under two minutes to go in the second round. Pena could be trying to, she is, she's trying to cinch up a dark choke here. She's trying to, her left arm, now she's lost it. She was trying to get it, came close on the, on the, on the, for a second there. That's it. Drop the elbows. Drop the elbows. Hammering down with the right. There you go, Nico. Come on. Now fishing for the neck once again. This is a good fight. These are two good fighters. You can see a cut opened up on Montano, it appears. Yeah, when you connect to the point of the elbow, really doesn't need much. Trying to escape is Montano. You hear the warnings from Rosenthal. Yeah, Montano's trying to grab a single and get back to her knees. But that's a bad choice to get someone like Pena. She might have it now, though. Staying busy and heavy on top, Juliana Pena, in this second round. Yeah, much better round for Pena. Back of the head. Back of the head. I gotta say, ref, they're nowhere near the back of the head. That was him. Trying to escape from the grasp of Montano. Meanwhile, Montano just kind of taking those shots and not letting go of that single leg. Yeah, Montano's got to be careful. She's trying to get that single, but as she's trying to get to her feet there, Pena could drop down to a guillotine. And with only 17 seconds, Left in the round, it would be a wise move, but... 
Tanya rolled to her back there. Yeah, Peyton, you keep in control here. Probably Still made it even more position. prestige now, I'd say. Big second round for Peña. Third round coming. So round two goes to Peña. Wow, we did it. We built the fastest network for the latest We're tied 1-1. One, one. This third round is going to make the decide, decide who wins. Great in every 